Yeah, it's my post fight reaction to the Hugo Charlo fight. Like I said, yeah, man, yo, that boy Hugo needs some milk. That boy Hugo needs some milk, man. Yeah, man, he Char Charlo got him out. I think in the second round. Yeah, man, I already knew that Charlo was gonna win. There was no doubt, but in this, in this, but I didn't know. Whether it was gonna be within, I thought it was gonna be within five rounds. So he got him out. He got him out earlier than five rounds, and you know he's now the official mandatory for Triple G. You know, like he was before, but I guess they had to have another match, another mandatory match. I don't know what what that means or how how that stuff works, but yeah, he's an official mandatory for Triple G, and you know. He go try to first round try to you know try to be crafty and try to box and like try to move around the ring you know try to you know just trying to just do bullshit you know what I'm saying like trying to throw the jab man yeah it wasn't working man that weak ass jab he needs some milk man with that weak ass jab man he some milk he needs some serious milk because once the second round begin um begin yeah he tried to throw in some combinations you know. He tried to little try to settle in a little bit, but yeah, it caught up with him, man. Charlo hit him up with a combination; it was done, man. Yeah, so it is what it is. I already knew he was gonna win. I thought it was gonna be in within five rounds. Got him out within two. Man, that boy Charlo, man, he's serious, man. He's serious, and I don't want to hear any more excuses. Um, within the Triple G camp, um. Especially coming from Abel Sanchez and all that stuff. They they know Charlo's ready. They know Charlo's ready. And you know when that fight comes, I'll be I'll be waiting for it. That fight should happen, you know, but I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, they still find excuses to duck, you know, Charlo, you know what I'm saying? Um I wouldn't be surprised, but that fight has to happen, you know. That fight has to happen, you know. Lines only, you know. I rock with them, you know. They they've been the, them two brothers, them two twins, been you know really, really uh, getting people out of there real quick within the uh, they last couple fights. Both of them, they just been on a mean streak. They've been just taking people out of there, man. They especially the uh, J uh, Jamel and the the one that's still a fifty four pounder, four pounder. Yeah, he been getting people out of there too, man. He been letting. He been showing that he has power. He been showing that that his uh, knockout ratio don't mean nothing, man. He been showing that he can get people out of there. Just got to put the punches together. And his older brother, I mean, not his older brother, but his uh, other brother that's in this, that just fought. Yeah, he been showing like he been consistently showing that he has power. He got real, real big power. So you know it is what it is. You know, hopefully they get the fight done. You know. And you know, you know, and if not, if he can't get in the ring with a uh, Triple G, hopefully he can get in the ring with a uh, another big sixty pounder, maybe Jan Daniel or um or maybe Demetrius. You know, it is what it is. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Share. Uh, I hit you later.